Hi guys, Cam Bear Run here. Welcome back to Football Manager 2022. This is the Football Verda Bremen run. We're up against Dinamo Dresden. I'll show you the team and we will get into the tactical meeting. Um, I want to see the change actually they want to make. So Neil Schmidt and Bomb holding. I might do that. Yeah, let's let's use this suggested squad. Do it. Tackle harder. Let's use our random stuff. If I need to, I will... There we go. There we go. Yeah, we should be alright with this. I just quite like that team. So, Schmidt, Neil, Mbom, Weisser, Bittencourt, Duksch, Friedel, May, Handel, Agu, Pavlenka. Then we'll move top rack into the next um, thing. However, we are going to be positive. So. Let's go. Oh, God damn it. All right, we'll have to see how we go with it. I think by now they'll be used to it. So you got to keep this going through. So, we're away against Dynamo Dresden, the bottom of the table. This should be interesting. He's a, he's a mile offside. He's got to be a mile offside there. Yeah. He's just completely off. Oh, Dulksh. Ooh! Yeah, he should have kept that header down. So I know Dulksh has called a hat-trick in the last game. If he does end up having issues, I will sub him out. I'll go do it. Good, dowdy at some point. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Pav Pav Pavlenka goes to punch the ball, and it basically punches at uh, Vla Vlachidimos' head. And it, he, he doesn't even necessarily need to head it. He just fucking... Yeah, it was a bit of a... It was a free goal, to be honest. Ooh! So close from Dutch. Yeah, don't need to tell me that I'm down to 11 position. I don't want to think about it. And it's literally over everybody. Ducks can gather it. Oh, wow, that's that's really bad. Mai just stops running for the ball. Doesn't even try. Bittencourt is not used to playing like this. On Grover, maybe switch positions a bit. Because Ben Gore's not used to playing the tempo this high. We still want the ball after that. So, we need to make something happen here. <laughs> and then, okay, that's fucking weird. Like, they we could they they basically conceded the same way they scored. We scored the same way that they did. So we they we got an unfortunate punch and then Grove gets the header and for some reason Matruskin decides to fucking punch the ball and it just comes to Dux who just hits the ball in the net. So that's fucking odd. It's really fucking weird. We got the ball with Neil here. Oh it puts an injury. Puts on a plate for Schmidt. What a goal! And I've just subbed Neil off. Bollocks. Um, that's all. What? What a pass by Neil. And we, to, and we went up a position in the middle of it. What? Watch this part. Watch this spin turn pass from Neil. That's amazing. Smashes it home. Get in, son. Yes. So we've got a corner here. Yeah. Oh, we tried to pass that into Agu, and Agu's been nicked from the ball. Oh, Grove is... Oh, I was about to say Grove is free there, but just couldn't get the header past the goalkeeper. 
Ooh, I just crapped my pants. I think Bomb looks a bit tired. So we're going to go on to Gross to replace him. Do it. We get more direct passing and we'll be able to just, like... Oh, they've just had Cunning's Dorfer. Maybe. Oh, go on, Dukes. Oh, that's going to be the keeper's ball. Um... I think we could have been better this game, but I think I'm very pleased at getting the win. That's what's important. Oh, good goal by Saleh. Right the death there. Right place, right time. Good 3-1 win, hopefully. <coughs> yep, good win against the bottom of the table. There we go. I kind of feel he might be marginally offside there, but I think the left back is playing him on. Either way. Done rather well. <laughs> and Dux, Dux just teleports across the field for some reason. What the fuck? Well, this is fun. Um, What a game this has been. Yeah, I see why these guys are bottom of the table. Look how wide open these guys are. Holy fuck. Oh, for God. Full Krug. So close. So we had a very, very, very good win. Then we could have been a little bit better. But, you know, I say fantastic performance. We could have potentially, I mean, we could have got about three or four. Yep, yep. Very well done, Day. That was an excellent win. We've done rather well there. Yeah, Friedel was great. Uh, there's always one guy who's going to spoil it for everybody. But it was a good win. We're up to... F no, we're up to sixth because of Hanover, uh, Hanover 96 win. Um, so, yeah. We look going quite strong. We need to keep the momentum going. And if we start winning more games, we'll be close to the top of the table. So, we're just going to continue onwards. Match report from Sport Bible. Fucking brilliant. So, our next game is against... FC Heidenheim 1846. Cool. That'd be fine. Okay, I'm going to go into the uh, press conference. Um, that won't bore you with it. Okay, see you guys for the next game. Okay, we're against FC Heidenheim 1846. You join me here at the team uh, team selection page. So our team for today will be Pavlenka, Handel, Agu, Toprak, Friedel, Gruev, Neil, and Bom, Fulkrug, Weisser, and Dux. So we're going to go straight into the team. It'll be fine. So, yep, we're going in confidence. Let's fucking go. So, skip straight to the kickoff. Skip. We were on a good two games. We've won our last two games. We are on a good bit of form. Just worried that I might have tinkered too much. Good cutout by Agu. The foul off the ball. We could, Actually, we just hit early crosses because apparently these guys can't defend deep. So we try and get in behind them. We should be all right. Header. Gura take down the ball. Oh, wow. Grover's completely lost it. And then the guy spooned his chance. <coughs> Grav dawdled too long on the ball there. Not having a good time of it, to be honest. <laughs> Bomb completely fails that tackle. Good save by Favlenka. 
You know, the problems we do have is if he does leave, we might be a bit screwed. I he was given a warning. Brilliant. Um... Good header away by Fulkrug. Back out to Bush into Kirsch. Okay, Kirschbaum. I'm assuming it's pronounced Kirschbaumer. It's another corner to... Yeah, we're getting a little bit dominated here. I think I might have changed it too much. Good tackle by him, Bomb. 2-0 to Shout, by the way. Um, it's 2-1 to Shout now. Um, oh, it's brilliant into full Krug. But he can't shoot. Almost an own goal! Yeah. Right. Let's go to the instructions. Let's turn the tempo down a bit. This defense is shaky, so we need to kind of go to that. So we've got to fucking go. Grav might come off at half time. He's not particularly doing great. He's not had a good game. He literally gave the ball away and almost um, handed off to them. Can we just start the second half, please? Yeah, it kind of feels like our players aren't at the races today. Ooh. And fucking Chalk have thrown it away. Because neither team's been particularly great. Ooh, we got a chance here. Oh! Oh, fuck off, ref. Fuck you! That's actually some double... How is that offside? Oh, bollocks. Yeah, that's offside. He's quite clearly offside, so fucking that's unfortunate. Um, Okay, he's too motivated. I'll leave him on. But I think Grev won't probably help him much, but... Born Christian grew up. The problem is... It... Ooh, that was close. Playing Neil was a risk. Oh, that's pain. And to be honest, I wouldn't have selected Bogfried there. That's really irritating. Bogfried would not have been my first choice. Um, I shouldn't have gone with the selection. I should have gone with somebody else. <laughs> Dux just what? He fucks it up in the end, but Dux just walks at them and does nothing. Really got to pull something out of our ass here. Oof. At least we're fucking trying. Can't help but feel minorly bullshitted out of a goal here. That's really disappointing, that. We, we were not great. And it felt like a lot of the team weren't particularly fucking great. That was that was really disappointing. We seem to not like. I get like probably changed tactics, but the bit that really annoyed me was that the substitutions it gave me I would not have made, and it kind of just ended up fucking not helping. Yeah, I'm not happy with that. We literally just gave them the, the comfort of the pitch. We're quite lucky that um, Ingolstadt basically lost as well. Um, it's very, very grim. And we've now lost a couple of players as well. So I have to rejig the squad. So we'll join you for the next game. I am absolutely devastated. Quite literally almost consistent and best player of the season has done his fucking hamstring.
again in training. For three to six weeks. Including that means he misses the Polkow game against Wolfsburg. I am absolutely devastated. I'm going to leave it to the physio. I said I am not going to fucking inject players. I am fucking dev. And also, I'm not entirely sure I've got a fucking replacement for him, by the way. Yeah. I think the only placement I've got with him is Nicola Rapp. Yeah. Switch. Agu. Nic Nicola Rapp is going to have to play a fucking blinder. In the next couple of games. I am absolutely devastated. We've lost Agu. Like the one of the best players in the squad. Oh, I don't believe it. Oh, by the way, yeah, it's international duty. So I've got um, Algad Audi, Gruev, Pavlenka, and one other on board. Yeah. One of the key players, right back Felix Agu, is out for a spot on the sidelines. I mean, I can put a bomb at right, right back because he's not been doing quite well in midfield. But I'm just going to stick with Nikolai Rapp, see if he gets a couple good games. He's quite young as well, Rapp, I believe. Let's go to the squad. Yeah, he's only 24 years old. He could do quite well. So let's um, let's do it. Yeah, I'm upset too. We were terrible. Um, so yeah, I will uh, join. I will uh, join you guys later because I am disappointed. Right, it's time to face Darmstadt. So we've got due to a couple of injuries and match fitness issues, we've got Pavlenka in goal, Friedel, Top Rack, Handel, and Rap. Since we now have no Agu, which is just killing me. Gruev, Schmidt, and Bom, Weisser, Asale, and Duksh. If Bom does actually play another stinker, I will take him off. Ilya Gruev's not fit, fully fancy. Okay. So we'll make a quick change then. Um, we're going to have to go with Grob, won't we? However, I still want Gruev on the bench. So. Oh, he's on the bench. All right. We'll just go with this team. I've got no choice because I don't have... Right, that's fine. You're a defender. Come on. Do it. Oh, wait, it kicked off. I don't know where the goaler is actually playing. Um, oh, it's a good pass into Dux. Can't get the team around him. Gives it into a Saleh out wide. I've only just realized we're playing in a black kit. We're playing in a wake kit, so... Oh, wait, we might be playing in a third kit. Ooh, that's a good... Uh, I think he should have got that across the goal rather than putting that into the... It's straight onto the, towards it. I think we're in a third kit. Because we seem to, like, normally our awake kit is white. So we're in a third white kit. Good catch. Wasn't really brilliant. They just put a cross in. Which was saved. So, you know. Oof! Sonic was running in there ready to power that in. I'll take it. A nice little spell of possession here. Oh, that's a good pass. Oh, yeah. Sale, go on. Oh, he's just... He's perfectly just saved that by an inch. Oh. That was close. Handles just basically come up, bocked it. But we've just got to start scoring them. <laughs> okay, to be fair, that was a very good chance.
but you can't hit it straight with the corner of your foot and then just think it's going to go in the... You know what? I've, I've, I've never played a good game of football in my life. Well, no, I played it in school, but I was in the C team that they put all the people that they kind of wanted to get involved in sports in. And I didn't really do great, apart from the one time where I managed to hit a 30-yard pass up to our striker who scored, somehow. Vice, oh, good catch. Yeah, for like five seconds of my life, I was peak Roberto Carlos at the age of 11. And then I never did anything again, and I hated actually being on a football pitch. So yeah, a little bit of a life learn, life learning experience about me. Um... I mean, I don't know what else I can really say. Because there's no there's no thing for you have to score the goal. Which is the, the problem is we have some really good chances, but I feel like we're just a little bit lacking in some of our decision making. Oh, that was a tasty... Oh, he's got him! Oh, that was beautiful! That was fucking beautiful. Look at that passing line. Oh, and then he just dicks his man and just gets in and just turn him. But that was that was fantastic football. Fant oh, what a save by Pavlenka. <coughs> right. Oh, that was a nice attempt, but didn't really work out the way he wanted it to. Perhaps not really been in the game much, but I mean, we need to really focus on getting down the side where we where we've lost. Oh, Vice, come on, Vice! Oh, that fair play. That's a good save. That was a good good move as well. It needed to just be crowned off with a goal. So we've got Bittencourt on now to go and uh, play some foosball. Ah. Top right picks up the ball. <laughs> and he just goes, fuck it, I'll shoot. Oh, we have got a corner, though. All right, let's see what we can do with round two. See if we swing this one in a bit. Oh, God, it's over everybody. Yeah, that's a throw. That's a throw in to uh thing. <laughs> Neil should be able to see out the last two minutes. Give him a little bit of match fitness. Why was that a thing? That's like major fucking panic. Oh, by the way, I've noticed, I'm literally noticing all the yellow cards that Dom started getting. Fucking, I got kind of noticed that we've only had like three yellow cards the entire season. We must have one of the cleanest records in the league. I'm going to have to look that up, actually. The fair, like the actual Bundesliga 2 Fair Play League. Oh, come on, Bittencourt, pay attention. Oh, fuck, Pavlenka, what are you doing, baby? Oh, good redeem. But really should have cut that, part, cut that pass out. This should be the game now. So. I mean, I'll take one more goal. That's it. We got a good win. Well, we weren't the yeah, we weren't particularly great, but we played great and we played like shit and played and got the win. So we're up to fourth. We're two points outside of being able to qualify for promotion. That's a good place to be in. Massively helped by the fact that um, everyone else below us kind of lost as well. But we've still got Sunday to go. I think was a Saturday game. Um. Oh, I can pick some other leagues from here. Premier Division. Later today. Oh, oh, we were the twelve thirty game. Ah. Okay. One is League Two. Close. To the dressing room. Yep. 
We played like crap, and we got the we still got the result. So we good. And we're up to fourth. Yeah, I need to think about what I'm going to do about our midfield, because we don't seem to press very well in the midfield. So, you know, we got to think, yeah, we got to keep, we got to keep going. We've got to put in better, you know, better uh, performances. Otherwise, we're just going to collapse against some of the people higher up the table. We still got to play Fortuna Dusseldorf. Um... We've still got to play Fortuna Dusseldorf. We've still got to play St. Pauli. We've still got to play people above us above us as well. Where's the freaking table? Where is the table? There we are. We've still got to play Fortuna, Fortuna, Fortuna Dusseldorf. We've still got to play SVS. We've still got to play all the return matches. Like We've got to play Schalke, FCN, who are on a nice little run. I don't know how we can do against Fortuna Dusseldorf, because they're the best team in the fucking uh, league at the moment. So if we look at the schedule... Results schedule. Where are we on October sixteenth? So we're on match ten. So our next game is against SVS nineteen sixteen, and then we've got Wolfsburg in the Pokal, which I've said I'm fucking crapping. Now that we haven't got Agu. Um, this point really, yeah, Bitten quarters have not been doing well. Um. We got Vol yeah SVS Wolfsburg Saint Pauli, Clo FC Nuremberg Schalke who have been doing interesting, but we still got to get through the season and we need to get things done. Otherwise, we're going to have a problem. <coughs> so I'll assess the squad for the next game and then do it. Yeah. So let's deal with that. Okay. Send our coaching course. That's all done. And then Demo, Demo Wash starts his continental paralysis. Okay. So, in the next game, in the next episode, we will be facing off against SVS 1916. And then the, the second game, which will probably be the, only the two, will be against VFL Wolfsburg. So that will be fun to do. Because that is going to be a challenge. Because Wolfsburg at the moment are top of the Bundesliga table. And they're doing very, very well. So I'm going to end it here. If you've enjoyed this, feel free to leave a like. If you want to see more, you can always subscribe. I've been Cam Bear Run, and thank you for watching.